Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training, with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So what you can do is instead of 25, you give some other number there in the script and then execute okay. it. Okay. Otherwise, okay. if you try to uh, delete the order which is already deleted, it will give you the error. Oh, okay. I got it, Priya. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, I have one more thing that I have to ask you. For example, in the update order, should I give the update order twice or uh, if I give it once, that's enough? You give it once, it is enough. Oh, okay. Thanks, Priya. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Okay, so next is Madhu. You are not able to add the objects to the object repository. Okay, hold on, Madhu. I will make you the presenter. Show me your screen. Okay, Madhu, I have made you the presenter. Show me your screen. Okay, I hope I have made the correct Madhu. Okay, yes. Yes, Madhu. Please go ahead. Please share your screen. Okay, so uh, tell me what are you trying to do? You are trying to add the objects to the object repository, is it? Okay, go to the resources, object repository. Fine. First, before adding okay, object to the object repository, keep, keep your flight uh, reservation application open. Do you see in the bottom there is a flight reservation application? No, no. Your flight application is minimized there in the bottom on your taskbar. Bottom of your computer? Yes. Keep that open. Okay. Let's say you want to add the OK button. In the login, your OK button is missing. So close this and then open the login screen. Close the flight reservation, not the object repository and then reopen the flight reservation flight application no no don't type anything it's not required okay have you kept this open now click on add objects to the local at the top do you see binocular in the object repository yeah beside that yes click on that okay now click on the ok button No, no, no. See, you clicked somewhere else. That is the reason it has got selected something else. Click on cancel. Okay, do the same thing again. But don't click anywhere else except OK button. Now click on the OK button. Yes, click on OK button. Okay, do you see? It, it gets added. If you click anywhere else, then that object will get selected, okay? So you should be very careful while selecting the object. Do you see it has got added? Okay, Madhu? Fine. Next is, okay, Lavanya, you cannot continue due to the syntax error. Okay, Lavanya, I'm making you the presenter. Please share your screen. C program. Okay, Lavanya, the problem with your um, application is your first um, system util expected. Okay, your first line of code is missing. Okay, are you there, Lavanya? Let me unmute you. 
Hello. Lavanya, do you hear me? Hi, Priya, it's working. It's yeah, working? it's working now. I have a message to you back. Oh, okay. I did not see. Sorry. Okay. Then again, we have Lata. Then Rupa. I think she didn't enter the date of flight in the correct format. Okay. Now it's working. Mm, you could try doing the debug and then step into. Cannot add the agent name back into the object repository as it does not come up in the list of the objects to add. Okay, Madhu, is your problem solved or do you require my help? Okay, wait Madhu, let me um, unmute you and then you can talk to me. Okay. Yes, Madhu. Is your issue solved, Madhu? Hello? Yeah, yeah, it's solved. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. yeah, I solved, can hear yeah. you. are able to clarity. add the objects? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, while selecting, it was not uh, showing me the option. Uh, it was showing me the Windows op option. I got it oh. clarified. Thank you. For the other Madhu. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so next is Anita. Anita has a question, what are we doing today? You came late. Okay. Anita, we are discussing on the object, type of objects and then the object repository. Okay. Then Raji, uh, what you did on Swarna screen? Okay. Uh, Swarna screen, well, I don't remember. Swarna, what did we do on your screen? Can you please tell me? I forgot. Because I visited so many uh, screens, right? So I just forgot it. Can you tell it to me? So that Raji is asking here. And then help me how to use the object repository. Okay, Madhu's issue is solved. Then Lavanya, um, screen recorder work in the HP run. Okay, a screen recorder, we are not using it anyways. But uh, let me see if we have some time, we will discuss it. Okay. Then delete order is failing. Okay, Swarna, yes, we did it. Using the object spy, it closes the QTP, how to do. Okay. Prima, are you able to figure out the issue or you require my help? Hello, Prima. Uh, yeah, I, Priya. Uh, I think I got that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to keep that uh, object spy on our application, right? Right. Yeah, okay. Um, because I was checking on that code. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't be like that. No, no, it should not be on the code, it should be on the application. Okay, okay. okay. On the, okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, Anita, see, I cannot read all the messages at a time. Okay, I will be reading just one by one. Okay. So the messages that I read first, I will be answering them. It is not, you know, like nothing that I bother about others. In fact, I bother about each one of you. Okay. So whenever I will be reading the messages, one by one, I will be answering your questions. Okay. So how does a screen recorder, okay, screen recorder is not there. Yes, Anita, I am able to read your chat messages. Then Lata, you are still getting the error. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lata, are you still getting the error? Can you please share your screen? Actually, you know, the problem is with the installation there. Okay. Maybe uh, something has failed. Show it to me again. Click on the run. Okay, it is failing again. Yes. Uh, okay, can you click on that run error?
Okay, you are getting the same error. Okay, uh, then Lata, you can do one thing. You can rerun your setup file again. Oh, let me unmute you. Are you. Yes, you are unmuted. Yes, Lata, are you there? Can you talk to me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. While I was trying to install, these two files were missed actually. Microsoft USE Runtime and Microsoft SOAP Toolkit. I did not uh, find them enabled actually. Okay, so did you rerun the setup file? No, I did not rerun again. Okay, so you can do one thing. Rerun the setup file, but it will ask you three options. Okay, it will ask modify, mm -hmm. repair and uninstall. Then you click on the repair. Okay. Okay. You rerun your setup file from your um, QTP 11 evaluation version. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, you try it on your own. Then if there is any problem, I'll help you. And while it is asking you, okay, it will give you three options. Okay. One is uninstall, one is modify, another is repair. Okay. So you got to click on repair okay. and then it will start the installation. Okay. Then uh, whatever, uh, you know, files okay. are missing, they will get installed. Actually, those three files, they oh. were to be registered, which I, uh, which we registered actually. But, you know, again, there is some license issue, some compatibility. Let's see. Repair it and try. Okay. Okay, sure. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so the next request is from Lavanya. Yes, Lavanya, tell me. Hello, Lavanya. Hello. Hello. Yes, Lavanya. Yeah, Priya, I have the same issue. I can, I could download it, but I, I'm, I was not able to uh, install it. Install what? QTP. Uh-huh. Okay. Do one thing. Uh, share your screen with me and I will uh, tell you how to install it. Okay. 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 Share your screen and then, okay, we will see how to install. So can okay. you see the screen? Yes. Double click on the setup. Did you unzip it? No, I don't think That's you fine. have unzipped it. Go to the downloads first and then unzip it. Okay. Have you unzipped or not? If you have unzipped, you can click on the setup. Otherwise, you got to unzip it. Um, downloads and here, here, right? Yes. You have the QTP evaluation. Two times you I have downloaded. 2.87. What is the other one? Check how much it is. What is the size of it? This is also the same. Same? Okay, then no problem. Right click. Yes, right click and then click on unzip. Extract file? Yes, extract. Uh, go for the fourth one. Extract 2. This one? Yes. Okay, uh, you have already extracted. Click on cancel. It says you have already extracted. Um, do one thing. Go to... Can you check there is uh, if any other folder like this, HPQTP, which is unzipped in this window. Scroll up. No, scroll up to the start of your screen. I think it's right here. No? Yeah, it is right there. Okay, open that. Okay, open this one, QTP evaluation. Okay, uh, yeah, the first one. And then double click on setup. Mm 
one uh, yes double click on this yes setup right professional yes, setup. the first one quick uh, test professional setup the first option double click and install it click on run okay next agree and next 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 okay wait for some time it will uh, again highlight the next and then you got to click on next okay go on clicking on next and then so it will be done next. yeah it will be done and at last it will ask you for the license okay run will appear and then you got to click on run after that it will ask for the license do not enter any license simply close it. oh okay, okay. then it will be so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.